Hey guys, welcome back to Genius Learning. In this video, I wanna show how to get spherical coordinates. Okay, so that's our X, Y, Z position. And so we take a look at this sphere. Okay, it's a 3D sphere. So let's just make it kind of look more 3D. Something like that. Okay, so we got a 3D sphere. And first we want to put this vector, the radial vector, right on the surface of the sphere. Okay, so this here represents a little slice of the sphere. Okay, so we're gonna label this R. And we're gonna have theta come down from the top towards the bottom, like that. Okay, so theta goes from zero at the top to theta all the way at the bottom. So let's see. We got, if we stretch this out here, that's uh, the negative z hat direction. Okay, this is the negative y hat direction. Okay, so we're gonna go from, so if this is our sphere here, and this is our z direction. We're gonna go from zero all the way down to pi, okay? If I went all the way around, that would be two pi. But in spherical coordinates, theta only goes from zero to pi, okay? So we're gonna put theta here. So it comes down from the z, and we're hitting the radial uh, vector that we put on the surface. Okay, and we're gonna we're gonna do use some uh, trig here. So we got this this side here is gonna be r sine theta. Okay, and this side here is gonna be r cosine theta. All right. So if we're at a different spot on the sphere, so let's say we're down here, then r times the angle that we're changing at is gonna be exactly this length here. And so as we go up, this angle is gonna change. And if this angle here is all the way at the top, right there, and so we're just gonna have R because this angle will be 90 degrees. Okay, so we we'll just have sine of 90, which would be one. Okay, now let's take a look at the bottom, okay? So theta sweeps from z all the way to negative z, okay? But we have phi that sweeps from the x to the y. So it's just in the xy plane. So the phi is gonna run from zero to two pi, okay? And so let's see how that would look here. If we made a sketch, um, let's say this is the Z, and here we have the Y, and we, here we have the X direction. Okay, it's gonna start here. So the phi runs from zero towards the Y. It goes all the way towards the back negative to the negative x towards the negative y it stays in the x y plane and we go all the way around until we come back to the x and that's a total of 2 pi okay so the phi does sweep around all the way to 2 pi okay so now let's take a look before we identify the phi let's bring down this 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 side over here and this side here is gonna be R sine theta, okay? Because we're gonna bring this R vector 
down, we're gonna project it down on the XY plane. Okay, so the radial direction, the radial vector on the surface, and let's project it down onto the XY plane. Okay, and when we do that, we also have to project down this side here, our sine theta, that is represented now by the radial vector. So the radial direction. Okay, so phi is gonna represent this angle in here that sweeps from the X towards the Y. Okay, and when we do that, let's go ahead and label this side here and this side here. Okay, it's like components. So we're gonna have, using this phi angle, opposite over hypotenuse, okay? So this is our 90 degree angle here, and opposite from our 90 degrees is gonna be our hypotenuse. And the same goes for this side over here. So we're gonna have opposite over hypotenuse. So I'm gonna write the hypotenuse first. And then opposite is our sine of phi. Okay, so this whole thing now represents the y. Okay, and now let's do over here, we're gonna use the same angle and we're gonna say adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay, so let me write the hypotenuse first. This is a theta and then the adjacent, which is cosine of phi. Okay, and that's representing this side here, which is x. All right, and finally, we have the length going up in the z direction is what we projected downward. This whole length here is the same thing as this length here. Okay, and so that's just gonna be r cosine of theta. All right, so putting that all together, right, our position, the spherical coordinates, we're gonna have x, which is this side here, is equal to this side here, and we've labeled this side here, r sine theta, cosine phi. So it's a combination of both um, theta and phi angle. Okay, and now for the y, we have, this is the y, okay, and this is the side that we identified as y, as this. So we got r sine theta, sine phi. Okay, and again, it's a combination of both the angle and the phi. And finally, we got z, which is represented by this length over here, which is the same thing as this side here. Okay, and that's r cosine theta. And that's it. These are our position coordinates. Okay, and we see how we took the direction z, we took the direction y and x, okay, and we found spherical coordinates and represented them like this, okay? This is our phi, this is our theta coming down from the top, okay, and that's, that's how we get those coordinates.